everyone, this is X470. It is a fully 3 printed excavator. Everything in this excavator is 3 printed, including the pump and the valves. Today we will look at the design overview. Let's start with the undercarriage first. Each track is powered by a real DC motor. This mechanism drives the tracks of the excavator. This gear mechanism is called a ring ratio difference drive. The reason we use this design is because it allows for high reductions in a compact package. If you want to know how it works, you can have a look at Matt Timmerman's video. Our design was inspired by his idea. Now we will have a look at the swing mechanism. Like the travel motor, this one also uses the ring ratio difference drive. the oil tank for the hydraulics. We have one pump and uh, four valves for controlling the hydraulic actuator. As we noted before, our system is completely independent, including the pump and the valves. First we will take a look at the valves. We have four directional control valves, boom, arm, bucket and an extra valve for the claw. And the first valve has two outputs, one for each cylinder of the boom. This is how the valve looks on the inside. Internally these two poles are connected and these two are connected. The triangular shape of the plate allows us to maximize the cross-sectional area of the valve. This allows us to increase the flow rate. These springs maintain the pressure between the valve plate and the valve body thereby uh, decreasing the leakage. This is a 3D printed triple piston pump. There are three pistons inside this pump. There is one input check valve and one output check valve for each piston. This check valve eliminates rack flow from the hydraulic actuators. This and this one is a pressure relief valve. The relief pressure can be adjusted using this screw. This is the output for the pressure relief. This accumulator allows us to get a smooth flow from the pump. This pump has a working pressure of 8 bar and it can provide peak pressure of up to 10 bar. This is a double acting hydraulic cylinder. The end caps and the mounts are 3D printed. Now you look at the cross section. We have two aluminium pipes and we have O-rings for a seal. Our excavator requires four of these pistons. We have two cylinders for the boom, one for the arm and one for the bucket. This is a highly detailed and functional model. The design you are looking at took around five months to develop. Initially we thought of making this project open source. But at this rate, it will not be financially sustainable for us. This will be a premium model. Our supporters at Buy Me A Coffee will get early access to this model. We made a custom control board for this excavator. It was sponsored by JLC PCB. In the next part, we will have an overview of the electronics.